In this video, we will study about SQL join. Uh, when there are uh, so many types of joins there in SQL, uh, we will study in the context of PROC SQL. Uh, we will study inert join in this particular session. Um, in the subsequent session, we will uh, study about the outer join, cross join, all these things. For the illustration purpose, I have created two data sets. Uh, one data set is the employee data, where I have got two variables, ID and the name, employee ID and then names. In the second data set, which is uh, the data set about the salary of the employee, I have got ID and the salary. Now the, my requirement is that I want to have a data set, I want to join this data set. So one data set has names along with ID, the other data set has salary along with the ID. I want to join this data set and come up with a data set which will have ID, first variable, name and then salary. But the condition is that I want to have the observation where the ID is matching there is a matching ID ok look at this data set quickly, uh, carefully there are four observations in the employee data set and three observations in the salary data the uh, employee ID 3 is missing in salary data right so when I want to join these two data set and come up with a single data I do not want to have the employee ID 3 in my final data. For that kind of a join, we use the inner join. So what is inner join? This is a kind of join where we only want the matching observation. Okay. If, if you know the uh, relational database, uh, you know, in, in, in a database, uh, relational database, we always have a primary key. So the primary key means it's a unique ID for each and uh, for each uh, each row. Okay, and that uh, that um, column cannot have a duplicate value. So primary key is ID, which is distinct for each employee. Similarly, here also the primary key is ID, which is distinct for each employee. We always join by the primary key. Proc SQL will create a new data set where we'll have this proc create table employee data as select. I want to have three things ID, name, and salary. ID a dot id I, I'll, I'll tell you what is a why i am using a a dot name b dot salary from employee i'm using an alias a so that is why i have used a along with id which means for, for the uh, table employee I am using a very small name a short name you know for the convenience purpose and using that here I am taking the ID from the table employee I am taking the name from the um, uh, table employee ok in our join salary alias B salary is coming from salary is coming from the table B so the allies for salary is B. Okay. We are joining on the uh, unique ID, right? On A dot ID equal to B dot ID. So wherever the ID is matching, only those cases will be extracted and put in the uh, data set. Quit. 
now let us print the data set also proc print data equal to employee data let me run this code what we can see on the screen is that we have a data set which has got three variables id name and cell that's what we uh, initially thought of getting right in the final data set how many ids are there three where is id number three it's missing why because the id number three is not there in the second data set we want only the matching cases we don't want the non-matching cases we have the corresponding names and the corresponding cell so that's about inner join. We can do the same inner join by changing the syntax slightly bit. Of course, we can use the word inner join keyword and uh, you know join the two tables. If we simply mention join without using the word keyword inner, then also we get the same answer. Okay, SAS by default uses the inner join. You can see the same output. There is a third way of doing it also. We don't need to do any join also. Just put a comma and use a where statement here. Okay. So employee and then put a comma, the second table name, salary, where a dot id equal to b dot id. This also works the same way. And then let's print the data. You can see the same output is there even in this case. So inner join can be done in three ways. How, how can we do that? We can do it by using inner join. We can simply remove the inner thing. We can simply have the word join and then it does the same thing. Else we just remove the inner join entire part, put a comma instead and then in place of on, we just use where plus a dot id equal to b dot id. It does the same thing. So that's about inner join.